Right, so what we want to take a look at now is creating and using library items. So <clears throat> I went over in the video before this one, I went over how to take your navigation bar and copy and paste it and you know insert it into all the pages of your document. There's another way that we can do this too. We can create a library item. Now, what's great about creating a library item is we can change one of the links on our um, navigation bar and it will change in all places. Alright, so how do we do this? Well, what we do is we begin, we select our bar like this and we're going to open up yet another panel. So we're going to come up to window and we are going to open up our assets panel. We're going to come down below and we are going to click library. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this thing right here and we are going to drop it right in. And what it's telling me is that the selection may look the same, but you know, pretty much you need to make sure that it's attached to the style, style sheet, so on and so forth. Now, but what Dreamweaver, you know, what we don't need to worry about that because uh, we have already attached the style sheet to all of the other pages. Now, I my computer is giving me these JavaScript errors. I'm just going to ignore them. Um, Fat Fusion is uh, something that I um, downloaded, and I think that it's having a problem with this. So I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm just going to ignore it. It's going to happen quite a bit here. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go through these. This probably won't be happening on yours. It's something that I put onto my um, Dreamweaver account. I'm going to name this nav. Okay? And there we have it. I can see it right here and I see it in my library items. Now, another thing that I could that I could do now is I can come in, I can take this nav bar and I can drag it and I can drop it onto my page. Again, I'm going to ignore these. Okay. This one's centered for some reason. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, we can come in right here drag and drop okay I think I must have closed my links page now what we'll see is that on all of these pages when we use a library item it's always highlighted in yellow okay let's preview this in Firefox And we can see portfolio links. Okay. All right. Now, does it's not looking quite right? I should have actually uh, hit save all before I did that. So file save all. It's important um, when you just hit save. It's starting with the first page, and there were some things that I had changed. Um, so we wanted to save that. Now let's preview it and see if it works. Okay, except the links page is closed, so that didn't work. All right, let's take a look. I'm not gonna even go to links because somehow I close links. Let me open links back up. Okay, and I wanna get rid of this and resubmit it because I had done this as a test before I started this video. All right. Again, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to insert this in right here. Of course, I got to go through all my error messages. Okay, and there I have it. File, save all, preview in Firefox, links, contact, portfolio, home. Okay, something happened with the aligning, but I'm not going to figure that out right this minute. I want to just continue showing you this. Okay, so what we want to look at right now is the fact that we can actually alter this navigation bar. We could say contact me, and it would change in all the pages. And that's one of the benefits of creating a library item through the assets panel. So we can double click navigation bar. And we can come up into here and we can say 
contact me. Contact me. Okay. And then we'll come file, save. Now it's going to ask us, do you want to update this in your other pages? And we're going to say, yes, we do. We're going to click update. And then we'll close this. And we will come back. Contact me. Contact me. Okay. Something happened. It didn't go on to the index page, but we can figure that out in a minute. Contact me. All right, let's redo one thing real quick. I'm going to actually delete this. And then we are going to resubmit. We're going to take this, we'll come right in here, and we are going to drag this and drop this back in. We get all of our lovely error messages. Okay, and now we have contact me. It still isn't centered properly, but that's something that I could spend some time figuring out and I won't keep you all here listening to my video as I move around. Now, one thing to note is that in my experience, Dreamweaver can be a little bit buggy sometimes. Um, so, you know, keep playing with it. Keep applying what it is that you know and um, believe that. Now, actually, one thing that I want to do is when I'm right in here, I'm going to come in to this one. And if I click right in here, I want to see when I click here, let's actually compare um, class none. This is class none. Let's come into the index and click, and it's class none. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out why. I said I wasn't going to, but now I am. I'm trying to figure out why these ones are, this one's not centered. It has something to do with the formatting, of course. It's just a little bit different. Um, let's see. Let's come back. I'll try one thing, and then if that's not it, end there. So we come in, we click, and we'll actually leave it at that. Actually, what, what happened is I believe that um, this image has a different tag applied to it. So thank you for listening. Sure, you can see the benefits of working with library items.